fifth anniversary weekend. Christian squirts one up the line. That's a fair ball. It'll get Corbin Carroll home. Rounds to third. Machado coming home. They got Pham hung up. Walker's easy to read at first base. Here comes Walker. It rolls away from Sanchez. Here's your fastball well away. Manny content to take the base on ball. Center field, Xander Bogarts on to the, the 12th of the year for the Padres shortstop. For Bogarts, that's just his second home. Here behind 1-0. and Last ball, punch down that line, and Slicey got a play. Broken bat, and that's just going to dunk in there for a base hit. G-Man Choi. It was among those trade deadline additions. He homered to Chase Field when he is here with the Pirates in July. And there's a lot of that as well. He is hitless in his sixth game. Hine looking to retire his first batter in the second inning. Joy. Of course, it is a lot. a long time. He's out more than 70 games for the Pirates. In that 13 game stretch. Three here at Chase this weekend, four at Petco next week. It's worked out well for both player and club. First pitch curveball is a strike. Four games for the Padres. And there's a lot of that as well. Change up that time at a 2 and 2. Waves and a high fastball. First strikeout for Nelly. Which is great. Fastball reliant. Follows it up with a curveball for a strike, and it's one and one. Rivera near the mound, on the mound, and Emmanuel's got it. It's two run homer that's made it two to one San Diego. He knows his baseball history. Jake has. <laughs> it's been hanging on by a thread, as it is. <laughs> McCarthy squares Ooh. and takes a high strike, says Chad with a couple of walks, a walker RBI double. McCarthy skies it to shallow center. Bogart's drifting way out there, and he. The Yukon connection. Diana and Nick Ahmed. So it's all I've got to work with here. Trying to tap into some stores, Connecticut uh, mojo. Down there taking batting practice. Yeah. Hey, some of those guys barely fit in the cage. They're so. That's a 3 0 strike. 3 1. Ahmed punches it out to right. Tatis is there. It's going to be broken and hopefully just pushes the limits of, of sports, right? And, and women's basketball. And, you know, you see that in every. Right after this. So I was a little <laughs> bit nervous, which I don't. The only, the last time, before that, the last time I got nervous was thrown out the first off the plate. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you're going to remember the 10,000 point forever. Right. Do you remember your first? This is pretty cool. Well, 10,000. I mean, that, a three, that was Stylin right there. Well, it's always nice when it come a standard bearer for women's basketball as Tati swings through a fastball. Everything you've accomplished, I mean, it's coming up, right? I know. That's a, that's a lot. That's a long list. Um, I've been really lucky. Um, factors now, but I've been lucky. I've been able to do it all under one, one house, and uh, that means a lot to me. Have you, has that been I mean, my first opportunity? And, you know, we've won here and, and we've built great teams. And you've built a home here. There's nothing like having that one constant that you can count on and you've been that for the Mercury does you know security in that when you know someone's going to come and you know and that isn't to say you can have a great game every game last night you were diving on the floor arguing with the refs oh yeah sticking up for your teammates as you know Tatis rolls one through oh, so Tatis what's still this no no I mean every morning I wake up like why am I doing this <laughs> <laughs> you know I still love showing up to the gym I still still love being in the locker room on the road Tatis oh, is in there at second he's in there at second do you watch other sports? I mean, are you a fan of other? Uh, the Women's World Cup. Uh, you know, soccer's been something that I've always loved. And, you know, growing up in L.A., I always watched the team, and it kind of just didn't pan out for us. So, um, but these guys can hit it. Yeah, there's something to be said for team chemistry and how the parts fit together. It might not be team together. And I always say this in basketball and, and, and baseball and soccer. Do you 
occupy other people. That makes a winning team. And we saw this here with the D-backs when Randy was here and Luis. I mean, what, a, what an amazing run we had. The Suns and Mercury tonight. I heard Ish was taking batting practice earlier. Hit one out of here. And Machado rips it into right. That'll get Soto home with the fourth Padre run. Boy, she's great, isn't she? Oh, she really is. I mean, uh, for all she's accomplished. Well, the highlight for me with Diana was the fact that she still argues with referee. They can't put it out. Yeah. That's going to get out of play back here. Another long inning for Ryan. And McCarthy on a dead run with Marte. Cattell gets to the spot. High fastball. And after it, it's 0 and 1. He'll take his time. Change up, swing and a miss, it's one and two. If it's a short night for run the line toward the right field, foul pole. Leninworth, his tenth, and the Padres have opened. Get out of the inning and let the relief pitcher start a fresh inning. The Padres are a lot like the Diamondbacks, trying to snap a losing skid. They've won G-Man Choi. And Nelson gets the strikeout. Padres with two in the... I remember being here, Bob, you were in the dugout, but I remember one thing that... The tension and the anticipation. Any postseason in any sport. Every pitch, every play, every movement you now who suddenly has a six to one lead. The major League's ERA leader. You know who's really got the pressure uh, tomorrow is uh, the governor, Greg Schulte. Yeah. Because celebrate the voice of the Diamondbacks, Tatis. Yeah, I heard Greg talking about it a little bit. Unfortunately, he's been the case again here tonight so far. Lots of time left. Bogarts from shortstop. All right, Nelson for the second consecutive start, done after three, and here to provide some lick out at the University of Miami. And Sanchez takes one right between the nine. He finally takes his grip. He has his thumb pointed straight up the barrel of the bat. Christian, there was a lot of talk about him batting with a golf grip. That was years ago. Slade Ciccone is out of Winter Park, Florida. Line to right, McCarthy is there. From looks, different shapes. There's the heater at 97, and it's one and one. 20. There's the slider, and it's one and two. Start the fourth. Go to first. Just back in time is Christian. Twenty starts for the Aces. Breaking ball strike Tommy Pham in there against Blake Snell who set down the last six he's faced and holds it 500 going into play tonight They have a plus 54 run differential which six to one and Tommy Pham waves at a slider three strikeouts for Snell. I mean Blake Snell is been on an outstanding run here. He closed his month and he was mowing him down. He had a four game stretch in June, 25 innings. And his last start against the Dodgers when he gave up. He can generate a lot of swing and miss. Lourdes reached on a fielder's choice and stole second base back at the first. Still for one. Against right handed hitters. Only Otani has a lower opponent's batting average. He's at one. Here Sunday. See the Padres again for four next week at Petco Park. Well, that's his first walk. Fun for Giants fans. Oh, that's going to be a big deal. And a little farther south. I miss seeing the ball now led by Max Scherzer. Ronerworth behind Guriel. There goes the runner. Rivera fouls off a of fastball at 96. There goes Lourdes. Once again, a foul 3 2 right to Tony Perez Chica. Second. And trailing 6 to 1. Tap to third. Easy play for Machado. Ciccone got three outs in the fourth. 
And a fastball misses down and in at 96. Slate Ciccone making just a. And for the most part, it was pretty impressive. Slade came out, gave up two runs on four hits against the Giants. Right at Cattell Marte. Gold knocked in a run and scored twice. Manny batting cleanup tonight. Machado passed the 300 career home run mark. Eight homers in 10 games. So he was. We talked to Diana about chasing 10,000 points. Manny Machado. Just turned 31 years old last month. High hopper for Cattell. Padres have out hit the D back 7 to 1. They lead it 6 to 1. His last hitter if he doesn't get it. And Bogarts punches it into right, a two out single. And set it for the left field corner and just foul. Should Cronenworth reach? Broken bat, slow roller, could tell. 